Are you wondering what's new in Assistant version 0.7? If you're a Beaver Builder user, chances are you may also be familiar with Assistant. This plugin recently underwent an update and there are some exciting new features to share with you. In this video, you will get to know the Assistant plugin and learn about those new features and updates. You will even get a sneak peek at what's coming soon. Beaver Builder is probably best known for its Page Builder plugin, but what you may not know is that the same team is also behind the Assistant plugin. Assistant is an everyday productivity tool that lets you navigate your WordPress site and handle quick tasks without the need to go back and forth between the WordPress admin and the front end of your site. The problem is that most changes to WordPress sites have to be made on the back end. While this isn't hard to do, it can interrupt your workflow because you have to go back and forth between the front and back end of your website. This is where Assistant comes in. This plugin lets you perform administrative tasks all from the front end of your site, which streamlines your workflow. Assistant is a free plugin and was developed with all WordPress users in mind. Note that you don't need Beaver Builder to use Assistant. This tool works flawlessly regardless of your page builder and even without one. Because Assistant is developed by the Beaver Builder team, the two programs have been optimized to work seamlessly together. Both solutions are focused on easy front-end editing. Especially for designers and developers, the combination of these tools can be a powerful asset. Once you install Assistant, it adds a new sidebar panel to the front-end view of your site that only you and the people who have access to log in can see. If you want a better idea of how you can use Assistant on your site, I will link up to this article for more information. You can also take Assistant for a test drive over on this demo site. I will leave links to this as well as everything I talk about in this video in the description below. Just a few weeks ago, Assistant version 0.7 was released. The first new feature is an adjustable panel size. One of the major goals of Assistant is to make your front end editing easier. You now have more control over your site by making your menu panel adjustable. Before version 0.7, you could already switch the menu between the left and right sides of the screen, but the width was fixed. If your preferences didn't match the default sizing, this could get in the way of your work. Now, all you have to do is click and drag the border. You can make the panel very narrow to accommodate full page designs, or you can expand it out if you prefer a bigger panel. Note that the width setting only affects the user who sets it, so each WordPress admin can configure their own settings. If you want a larger menu that's a little easier on the eyes, you can expand the panel while using a darker color scheme. To activate dark mode, click the three vertical dots in the upper right corner to see an option for dark color scheme. Repeat the process to change back to light. I encourage you to take some time to play around with the settings. Assistant is here to support your work, so don't be afraid to make it your own. The next new feature is a more intuitive home screen. If you've used Assistant before this update, you probably remember the home screen looking a little different. In the past, it functioned via a block layout. While this kept things organized, the team at Beaver Builder wanted to make it a little more intuitive. And here's the new Assistant home screen. The new home screen has more breathing room for all of the sections. Instead of several long blocks, you can now see more of them in a single view. Plus, the horizontal navigation arrows make it easy to get a closer look at whichever element you want to see and you can now control the vertical displays. Simply click on the arrow next to each heading to minimize it. This update makes the home screen easier to understand and gives you a better idea of your site's status with just a single glance. If you want to further customize this element, navigate to apps and settings for a few more options. Here, you can reorder the apps and your top five will appear in the sidebar for quick access. If you mostly work on comments, for example, you can move the comments app to the top of your home screen. Another exciting feature is seamless media uploads. It's now even easier to upload media files from the front end of your site when using Assistant. To get started, open the dashboard, 
Under Apps, click Media to open the new interface. Before this update, you could drag and drop your images into the Media app, but in Assistant version 0.7, we've made it more intuitive by providing a box and button that highlights this capability. Another new feature is the integration of the Labels app. The Labels feature lets you mark posts and pages with colors and titles and flag your content. For example, you can flag your most popular posts to get inspiration for future content. Other logged in users can also see if you flag something for their review. Or you might just prefer a color coded way of visualizing your categories. The labels feature has now disappeared from the app selection, but it's not gone. It's now an integrated part of the assistant menu. To find labels in the latest version, go to apps and settings, Scroll down to the bottom to see your options. From here, you can use labels just like you did before the update. Go ahead and click the pencil icon to edit an existing label or the trash icon to delete it. You can even create new labels at the bottom of the screen. To add your labels to posts, go to the content app. From there, hover over the post or page you want to label and click the pencil icon. Scroll to the label section and click add label to apply your changes. Note that these labels are not visible to anyone who's not an admin. This means that you can feel free to apply whatever organizational system that makes the most sense to you. And in case you haven't heard yet, Coming soon to Assistant is a brand new cloud service called Assistant Pro. Assistant Pro joins your WordPress sites together by allowing you to sync creative assets, posts, and layouts between them. This is truly like nothing I've ever seen before, where you'll be able to store, share, and manage your WordPress assets in the cloud. Assistant Pro is geared towards professional teams and organizations you can upload and save page builder content in the cloud for easy accessibility. You can have teams and libraries to organize your content. Files are available for team members to access from anywhere. The interface is user friendly and accessible. Plus it is compatible with page builders, including Beaver Builder, of course. One of the main features of Assistant Pro is the Libraries app. You can get a sneak peek in Assistant by navigating to the Libraries option under Apps. This powerful collaboration tool is so close to being released. You'll be able to use libraries to share resources across sites. With this new tool, you can upload your creative content, such as your Beaver Builder page builder templates, and share them easily to the cloud-based database. Everything is stored in one place, and you can give your team login credentials to access the libraries and easily download the files. Assistant Pro is an excellent tool for both website designers and developers. You will be able to create your templates and other resources and share them without having to use emails or other third-party application. You can also reuse content from your libraries for ongoing clients. This can increase your overall productivity. If you work with a lot of clients or virtual assistants, this feature will also be helpful to you. Rather than sending dozens of emails to different users, you can simply link up all of your work in one place. Thank you so much for watching. And of course, if you got any value out of this video, be sure to hit the like button and click to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.